And a good day to all of you. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Today, rehash time. Colt 45, malt liquor. 5.6% ABV. Or some say 5.9, depends, but it's 5.6. Um, made its debut in 1963 um, from G. Heilman Brewery in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, National Brewing Company in Baltimore, Maryland, G. Highland Brewing, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but now all part of the Paps Brewery. Um, Paps, of course, Paps Blue Ribbon, uh, Paps Extra, um, Paps Low Calorie, and Paps Non Alcoholic. Um, of course, of the malt liquor lines, you have this one, you have uh, the Colt 45 family beers, you have this one, the Double Blast, the High Gravity beer, and um, and some flavored beer that with orange juice in it. I don't know. So, but this is one of the of the Mount Rushmore of the malt liquor line. Of course, named after the football player Jerry Kramer. Uh, I believe that's a, who I believe it is for the Baltimore Colts. Of course, that's what the beer looks like. Um, of course, that uh, the Paps line of malt liquors. Um, you have to mention, I mentioned Colt Forty Five, How I Grab, and all whatever. Um, you got the Schlitz line of malt liquors, the OML, the Red Can, you have the VSL, very smooth lager, and they have the Bull Ice. Um, as I mentioned that, also, who else does? High Gravity Beers. Uh, Schlitz line. Really, that's the only thing I can really come to mind right now is that. So. Uh, again, made his debut in 1963. Um, one of the preeminent malt liquors at the time. He had this one. He had Country Club, which was another, another popular one. Uh, also, again, mentioned Schlitz, original malt liquor. Those were kind of the, the ones that set set, present, set set the tone, if you will, in the early days. Um, of course, many advertisers have promoted this beer. But the, the beer's popularity really grew in the 1980s thanks to uh, actor uh, Billy D. Williams, of course, uh, stage actor, model, um, of course, when he became the spokesman for Colt 45. Uh, then he had a few others before then. Ted Danson, which was unknown then. Barbara Smith, B. Smith, uh, the model also, a uh, restaurateur. Uh, had, she was also unknown. Um, she did some commercials for Colt 45. But really, the company really took off with uh, Billy D. Williams. Uh, well, the company, I mean, the, at their promotional advertising really took off with Billy D. Williams in, in the 1980s, you know, with his deep baritone voice. And it works every time, you know. So that was who, who really kind of some made this beer a household name. So as you can see, it looks like your standard, typical lager, nice color. Getting the corn and the sweetness. Really has that nice pungent flavor scent that I like. Mmm. A little bit of some barley. It does have a little of a hop. No, nah, not just have much hops in it, but uh, there's a little hop ride. So it's more of a champagne type of feel taste I'm getting here. I mean, Paps have really been putting a lot of effort on this beer, a lot of all of their namesake beers. Really, kind of giving it more. I guess, hey, hey, you know, let's step our game up. Let's really start pushing, making our beer just as good, if better, and that maybe the craft beer guys can start liking this. Um, I was watching a video with Jay, um, Donald J. Terrio, and Dave, and I think they did a rehash or uh, maybe another do review of Colt 45. And Dave was really 
giving this beer a lot of praise and a lot of props. I mean, really kind of speak, speaking eloquently about this beer like it was like a, like some of a craft beer. And I was kind of you know, surprised, but also I was like, you know, hey, make some interesting points there. Um, yeah, easy drinking, 5.6%, not heavy, about the same as Mickey's, same ABV, this Mickey's fine more liquor, and that's owned by Miller. Um, Miller and Paps are probably the two who have been known to really expose their malt liquor line in a way that many others, um, other, other breweries, well, the only one I know of, Anheuser-Busch InBev, with their two, don't seem to do that enough of. They're not willing to promote King Cobra and uh, Hurricane as much as they like to. They need to, but they don't. But um, uh, and but but for what, whatever the reason, I think maybe social media has played a big part. But it's helped. But with Paps, I may want to get off on a tangent here. Um, they haven't really been pushing out their their. Um, their line of beers. I mean, for what I mean is that the PAP, uh, PBR Extra, very good beer, very enjoyable. Um, now it, it's just, it was here, gone, here, gone again, here, gone again. I, I don't know. Again, it all goes to the stores. If you're willing to put your stuff out there and, uh, you know, if, if it was all the stores and, and the, the distributors, if, if the beer's not pushing what I mean by not pushing, if it's not coming off the shelves, you know, frequently or routinely, then the stores will say, all right, cut it off. We're, we're not going to carry this. So maybe that's the reason. But recently I've been seeing it at a couple of spots that uh, there is PBR extra right there. Um, same thing with this beer. This beer, I have not seen much of it at the grocery stores. But if I go to another grocery store, I'll see it there. If I go to a Obviously, the service station is no big deal. You know, this beer will be everywhere in the service stations. But a grocery store, you know, hmm, I don't see this. I don't know if it's just the distributors doing this or the company. I don't know. But, but anyway, getting back to Cold 45. Um, I get this from time to time, but not a lot. Um, mostly, I tend to buy Mickey's as if I want something that's really easy, not heavy. And the heavier beer, stronger beers, you know. Um, Mickey, uh, uh, steel or hurricane, I'll avoid that. But this is uh, something I can I can do reasonably well with, you know. Good, clean, refreshing. Again, a very classic, you know, American jewel of a beer, and that's what this is, Colt Forty Five. So I won't go on and on. Um, if you're, I mean, if you're able to get the high gravity, um, and that and that's extremely heavy, and that's 8.5 percent, that's something that we had here in our town, but uh, maybe two stores I was able to see it, but that kind of disappeared. But um, but with this, this is a again, this is an American classic here, um, for easy drinking, nice, crisp, well made. Like I said, it's like a drinking a champagne. But won't get you too tipsy. But if you drink a four pack of this, then I say uh, you're. Mm, no. One or two of this should be enough for me. So, but anyway, uh, Cold 45, again, A plus for me. This is a 9.2, 9.3 score. So, A plus for the classic American original Colt 45 malt liquor. Sean Henderson, Pierre, the beverage Rainbow Tune. Keep on watching those cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Colt 45 works every time. Colt 45.